sorry, I can't. I've got to get to work. I hope you're happy. Brent's told the police that he killed Rain. Morning, Cheryl. First, he's beaten up in prison, and then he confesses to a crime he didn't commit. It's a bit of a coincidence. Well, the attack must have unlocked a latent traumatic memory of the murder. The attack was deliberate, so he'd change his story. You were behind this. Oh, that'd be ridiculous. My son is not a killer. Well, his recent confession would point to the contrary. You were so certain that he'd admit it. It's because he knows the law, that's why. Not because he goes around arranging beatings. Brent merely saw sense, which is something I suggest you do. Confessing is Brent's best chance of a more lenient sentence, especially if he pleads self-defense. Feel free to pass that on to the defence team. This isn't over. <clears throat> Did you get Brent duffed up? To protect Romeo? Oh, of course not. You know that Perry reckons Brent's innocent? Oh, that's her opinion. I had nothing to do with it. Brent merely crumbled, like they always do. Yeah. And I suppose you can't hide the truth forever, can you? I'm gonna go and check on Pez. See you later. <clears throat> yeah, I, I have your money. When can we meet? Perry, how are you doing? Not letting go, are they? No wonder Romeo had to get away. The idolizing an abuser. It's a joke. So much for coming out to take my mind off things. I'm just gonna come grab a coffee. Can't get away from that lot. Have you heard the news about Brent? Yeah. Can't get my head around it. Is he really capable of murder? The way Rain treated him, I'm not surprised. Look, this could be closure. Now we can look to the future, make a fresh start. It's not that easy, mate. I think we should finish clearing out rain stuff from our room. But Tom will rent it out eventually, and if we don't do it ourselves, he'll probably just chuck it all in a bin bag. Hang on, we, we haven't even had a funeral. I know there's no right time, but it, it might help. You really want every trace of her erased, don't you? Casey, no, it, it's practical. It's thoughtless. <laughs> don't pretend like you're not glad she's dead. Wow, it's hardly stopped her being sent of attention, has it? Wow. Guys, I can't listen to this. I am so sick of talking about that toxic witch. OK, OK, I know that you didn't care about Rain, but I thought that you cared about me and the fact that I've just lost my best friend. Oh, she wasn't your friend. She was a parasite. This is your idea of a friend, not. For the avoidance of doubt, the attack on Brent can't be traced back to me. James, you asked for discretion, very politely, and that's what you've got. Yeah, I just uh, can't have his mother joining the dots. Do you want her dealt with as well? We could do physical threats or just verbal. No, 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 no. that won't be necessary. Just uh, don't want Cheryl digging too deep. We'll cover your tracks, James. You're a lawyer. It shouldn't be difficult. If Steve found out, there is nothing linking either of us to this. For many years, I've been, how shall I put this, um, facilitating intimidation in that prison. I never leave a trace. Relax, James. You got what you wanted. Lucas, why aren't you in school? Thought I'd sack it off. See what your father has to say about it. I can't. Give him a buzz. Send this as well. Fill him in on what you and Gangster Gun have been chatting about. For the avoidance of doubt, the attack on Brent can't be traced back to me. You are. You see, I might not be in the classroom, but I've been learning loads. Seriously. You're deluded. You're in sensitive. I don't know why I even bother. Look, why don't you just leave? Whoa, 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 whoa. You two have only just got together. You shouldn't be arguing like this. I'm sorry. I just... I don't know what to make of this whole Brent thing. It doesn't feel right. He admitted it. 
If it wasn't him, then who was it? Load the people's whereabouts on the night are still sketchy. I mean, you disappeared when Perry arrived at the manor with Brent. Here we go again. You've thought it was me all along, haven't you? No! I I'm just trying to get everything straight in my head to assess all of the avenues. What, like accusing your new girlfriend of murder? <laughs> Rain is always going to be there, isn't she? Getting in your head, coming in between us. Nadira! You need to accept that Rain's dead before our relationship goes the same way. Um. Getting a beating must have pushed him over the edge. Made him want to clear his conscience. Do you really think so? Oh, yeah. Case closed. That's what James reckons. As if he actually did it. Pez, he has admitted everything. I'm just surprised. Like, I don't think Brent ever actually meant to hurt me. He held you hostage. Yeah, I know. And it was scary, but he panicked. You know, Rain really messed him up, made him feel like he was nothing. But he still cared about her, protected her. Sounds like a motive to me. We talked a lot, you know. What Rain did to him, he was her victim, just like Romeo. And in the end, he let me go. He did the right thing. Does that sound like a murderer to you? Maybe you didn't know him as well as you thought. Come here. It's gonna be okay. But you need to try and move on. Put all this behind you. Have you thought about going to work? Keep yourself occupied? Could do. In the meantime, <laughs> sweet and salty. <laughs> Your favourite. <laughs> Even though it is a crime against snacks. Oh, it's the school. Hello? You what? He's not been there at all. Thank you. Leave it with me. Lucas has been skiving. The little... Wait till I get my hands on him. See you later. You'll get it. Just stay where you are. Listen, I, uh, I might need a favour. You've probably seen that Cheryl has access to Rain's social media, and I'm wondering if you do too. Uh, do you think there might be some positive posts about Romeo and the drafts? I'm hoping to turn the tide of public opinion. <laughs> you mean spin it? I thought our job was to expose the truth, not manipulate it. Yes, or redirect the narrative. I really don't feel comfortable scrolling through my dead friend's post to try and exonerate her boyfriend. Uh, please, please. Uh, look, um, I didn't mention it before, but I had a call from a friend the other day with an interesting job offer in Norwich. It was for a trainee solicitor role. He was looking for someone young, keen, tenacious. I did tell him no. Yeah, you really need to work on your sympathetic boss act. I, I told him no because I didn't want to lose you. Maybe the only way to move on from Rain is to move on from this village. Maybe. So, if I knew that, then you'll put in a good word for me. I'll certainly make a call. Just give it some thought. And then the other day, she went off on one when... Hey guys, here I am with my bestie. Today, I am talking about friendships. For you to shine, you need that strong, selfless person who will pause their own life and point the spotlight in your direction when you're feeling down. That's what Lace does for me. Secretly, she loves the fact that I brighten up her boring life. Joking. Anyway, decisions, dramas, dilemmas, we share it all. We help each other make the right choices. Because, let's face it, you'd be lost without me, Lace. Hmm. Lucas! Oh. <coughs> you better have a good explanation. Oh. <sighs> Sorry, uh... Lucas was sick earlier, and then Cheryl came over and all hell broke loose, and I just totally forgot to tell you. I'm so sorry. You really are sick. Yeah, I've had the school on the phone asking where you are. James said I should stay at home and get some rest. I was checking my guts up, won't I? But don't have a go. He's really looked after as well. Come here. How do you feel now? Better than he did earlier, I think. I suppose I better ring the scarving police, let them know what's happened. Doing business with you, dearest daddy. 
Delete that recording now. This is a one-off. Understand? Of course. <laughs> He's been...